Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are remodeling the apartment, an apartment in, oh my god I'm gonna burp, why does this always happen to me when I'm doing voiceovers? Anyways, we are remodeling an apartment in San Maishino, which is the world that comes with the EA City Living Expansion Pack. And this is an exciting build because this was recorded right after EA released the For Rent Expansion Pack. And with that, there was a base game update. And in the base game update, we can now edit the windows and exteriors of apartments in San Maishino. And Funny enough, in a previous video, I had talked about how I had treated myself to the City Living Expansion Pack on Black Friday because there was a 60% off sale, and I wasn't really sure why I bought the City Living Expansion Pack, knowing that apartments were going to soon be available on any lot in any world with the For Rent Expansion Pack. But I'm so happy that I did buy the City Living Expansion Pack because I still have not bought the For Rent Expansion Pack and I don't think I will until a little bit later just because there are so many bugs right now and it is full price. But um, in the meantime, I can practice building apartments with this and I love that we can edit the windows now. I originally went into a couple different apartment lots in San Maishino and tried renovating them. And when you demolish them, it automatically gets rid of all the windows in the apartment as well. And at first I didn't like that. I, I wanted to change the windows, but then when we actually got the feature, I realized that all the windows would be different from the exterior. Like they would look a lot different um, from the other floors of the building. And that really bothered me. But then I realized when you're playing, you're not looking at the exterior of the build anyways. It's just for like screenshots, but I mean, no one zooms out that far from the build anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So I decided I would just ignore it for this build and do a bohemian themed apartment. So these windows are from Charlie Pancake's Maple and S Constructions collection. And I think the rounded top of the window is it, I don't know why it just gives me like bohemian vibes. I think a lot of round wavy shapes and circles scream soft and bohemian to me or I guess I should say whisper <laughs> um, bohemian vibes. So I went with a lot of obviously as you can see circles and round shapes in this build. I also wanted this to be a very bright and colorful build so I used some really fun wallpaper in the bedroom. I want to say that's from Sixum CC. Sixum has a little collection of bohemian uh, themed furnishings and decor. There's the boho bathroom, boho baby, and boho bedroom. And at the time of recording this, boho bedroom was not available for um, like free download it was only on early release on their patreon but now at the time of recording this voiceover it is available for um free on curseforge i believe and so i i kind of wish that i had held out for the boho bedroom because the bed frame that comes with boho bedroom is stunning absolutely gorgeous and I definitely want to incorporate that into a build sometime soon. So I guess I'm just going to have to do another bohemian inspired build or find a way to work it into another style of build. And at this point, I've already talked over a lot of what I've been doing on screen. So let me get into explaining a little bit of what I'm doing with the furnishings here. So this bedroom, or this bedroom, this build is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. And the living space is very open floor plan as I like to do with my builds. So the living room is small, but not as small as the last apartment that I did. It's a little bit roomier. It has space for like a genuinely, you know, 
good sized living area. There is, the couch is hanging from the ceiling and I don't know why, it just gives bohemian vibes, you know? Like, um, I'm not sure how comfortable it'd actually be to sit on that and watch TV, but I think it's really cute. It is from Felix Andre's, I wanna say, Colonial Collection. And then the chair that I put in the corner, that round, uh, like, wicker basket chair, that looks really comfy and that is from pierre sims winter garden collection and it has so many swatches oh my god so many swatches so you could it, it would match any room you put it in and then the kitchen all of the counters are from hey harry's kuwaiti set and that those like wood textures and the details on the countertops the island is very bohemian to me. Those bar stools are from the EA Desert Luxe kit. And then a lot of the wall hangings are from Charlie Pancakes. These woven baskets that I'm putting up on the wall are from Felix Andre's Grove collection, which also has some great bohemian things, but it's more like natural elements. And then the I believe the fridge that I'm putting down is from Pierre Sim Rolskove collection. I just wanted to use a lot of like light toned woods in this build. Oh, I wanted to mention that the doors for the bedroom and the bathroom are from my Shuno son. I love the painting detail on the doors and the color of it really set the tone for what I wanted the color palette for this entire apartment to look like. So. It's a lot of orange. I may or may not have gone a little bit overboard with the orange. It's not something that I gravitate to in real life, but I think it looks really good in The Sims. So now I'm going into the entryway and starting to furnish that a little bit more. That wall decal is from my Shuno son along with this sideboard and the functional record player. It's all from my Shuno son. I want to say that I don't like the walls that I, the wallpaper that I put for the main living space right now and also even the bathroom. I don't, I end up changing all of it because I didn't like it, but I was having such a hard time picking out walls just to start. I was like, you know what? I just need to put something down and start furnishing and I can always change it later if I want to. So that is what I did and um, I think I change it more towards the end though. Throughout the furnishing process for this apartment, I jump around a lot because I had installed some new CC into my um, game. So I wasn't familiar, like, I'm very familiar with all of the objects that I have in my game. So whenever I download new CC, it's kind of like, ooh, this is new and what's this? And so I pull it out and get distracted. Um, also, I did this build in one day. Like it only took me like probably an hour to do this entire build because it's an apartment, so it's small. Um, but I didn't have a plan going into this. I knew I wanted to do a bohemian themed apartment, but that is it. I did not have a floor plan or anything, um, a color palette or textures that I um, wanted to use. So it was a lot of me just like going through the catalog, pulling things out that I like and jumping around. So yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not very um, cohesive. Like I don't move from room to room. I really am just like pulling things as I see it and throwing it in the game where it belongs. And then I go back later and kind of like fix it up. So now I'm going in and pulling out these lights. These lights are from 6MCC's Boho uh, bathroom set as well as this rattan divider. It's just, uh, it has so many good things. And, and this wall shelf. So now I'm moving on into the bedroom and it's just one long rectangle. And I wanted to split up the space a little bit more just to make it more usable. Um, I really like the feng shui, if you will, of this bedroom that you walk in and there's a divider there. So you're not direct walking in directly into the like bed area. There's kind of like a dressing room and a uh, desk nook over there and then you can turn the corner around the divider and then there's the bedroom that bed frame is from hey harry's octave collection and i never would have guessed that octave would go with the bohemian theme i wanted something like a woven bed but honestly it was very busy with the 
pattern of the wallpaper so I decided to go for something with really clean lines and I love the way that it turned out. That side table is from the Clutter Cat Sunny Sunday. The Sunny Sunday collection is also like a staple bohemian build um, collection. I use a lot of stuff from Sunny Sunday and the Clutter Cat has since released uh, Sunny Sunday part three as well as some other um, CC collections, but I cannot for the life of me figure out how to download them. Um, they should be for public access, like public release right now. They should be free to download, but I cannot find the download link anywhere. So if anybody has the download link, um, I have checked on Patreon, on CurseForge. I've looked at all the comments and everyone is kind of in the same boat with me as far as I can tell. Like not a lot of people have it, but I saw that Boana Sims on YouTube has Sunny Sunday Collection 3. And I don't know if she is just um, like subscribed to her, to uh, the Clutter Cats Patreon. And I know that they're friends. So maybe Boana got like a, I don't know, early access or something. But if anybody has the, the link to the free download version, comment it down below because I would love to have that in my game um, and use those those packs in my builds but yeah I can't figure it out anyways moving on and talking about the what I'm doing in the build I added this little cork board with all these cute postcards and Polaroid pictures those are all from Joyce's Fox the Polaroid pictures are super detailed and really gorgeous and I really love the way that this desk space turned out. Desk nooks are my favorite thing to build and furnish in The Sims 4. So that desk mat is also from the Clutter Cat Sunny Sunday and while it's a super small detail, I find that it's really helpful in adding that realism element to my desk setups and I, I just love that item. I love that item. And I also wanted to use these cloud shelves from the base game. I don't think that these get enough attention. I really love all the swatches on them and they felt very playful and kitschy, which this build, you know, I wanted it to be, to be bohemian, but I figured with the wallpaper and just all the color I was using the pinks and the oranges it felt right so I incorporated these shelves and cluttered them up with some more like objects that little plush pillow um, the flower one is from aggressive kitty another great CC creator that is not on curse forge but I will link their uh, patreon down below and then I'm cluttering up this little shelf that is from the ladder shelf is from my Shuno Sun. This Rubik's Cube is from Peacemaker. It's also another new um, CC item that I downloaded. And then now I'm moving on to this woven bookshelf area and cluttering that up. All the clothing that I use, my favorite clothing to use that CC um, just for decoration, like wardrobes and stuff, is always gonna be Pierre Sims David's apartment. It's just folded clothes but really cute and then that potted plant is from my Shuno Sun and now lastly we are moving on into the bathroom where I have gone through the catalog and stuck things that were bohemian bathroom stuff I st stuck it in the bathroom with no rhyme or reason just so that I would remember to use it later on and then I'm also using the matching tub from that collection and then that um wall decor item is from the clutter cat sunny sunday collection and i am cluttering up the shelf that goes over the toilet with some bathroom jars and such and creating this little um open shower that i want to say the the shower the tiled shower is also from 6mcc but i'm not a thousand percent sure and then I added that glass wall divider just so that, you know, you're not getting water everywhere and changing up the um, wallpaper and flooring. The wallpaper is from Felix Andre's Grove collection. It's a really beautiful, um, like Arabic Moroccan inspired tile. And I think it's gorgeous. And I'm so glad that 
I could use it with this bathroom. Normally I wouldn't mix and match tiles like that, but I just, I think the chaos worked in this case. And with that, I'm going to wrap up the voiceover here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more content and speed builds just like this. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and a happy holiday, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots.